Going on Carlsbad Vista CrossFit, it's Fitness Rick and Lindsay and we're here to tell you about tomorrow's workout and some other things we have coming up. But first we just want to say a big thank you. A big thank you to everyone out there that has been following along and doing the at-home workouts. Thank you to everyone that showed up at the gyms today and borrowed equipment. Uh, seeing all of you guys do the workouts using our equipment it just it just means the world to us and it just put a big smile on our faces in light of everything that's going on because seeing you guys do the workouts and using the equipment shows us how serious you're taking your fitness and continuing along with us through that journey and we can't wait to see you guys back in the gym hopefully soon and thanks chris and mason for facilitating that uh, equipment loan so we really really appreciate that uh thank you with that being said tomorrow's workout um, we want you to get outside and move for 40 plus minutes, okay? I want you to stay at an aerobic pace, something that's low intensity. I don't care what it is. I don't care if you're walking, bike riding, uh, going for a hike, jogging, maybe pulling the rower outside and rowing, yard work. Uh, you pick your poison, but try to get outside and move for 40 plus minutes and share with us, okay? Um, with that being said, uh, over the next few weeks, we have a nutrition challenge that we want to, we would like to get everybody to do. Okay, we have a lot of people already um, jumping on board with us, but this nutrition challenge is kind of one of the the small things that, in addition to working out, that we believe will help keep you fit and healthy. Okay, it's a, it's our goal to establish these healthy habits, and I'll let Lindsay tell you a little bit more about that nutrition challenge. Yeah, I mean, the saying goes that abs are made in the kitchen, not the gym. Um, you know, so this is a great time since our daily routines have been disrupted to establish new routines, new habits. And so we're just taking this opportunity to encourage everybody to join on board with the challenge. There's more information coming out. There's a whole video on the challenge itself. We have a private Facebook group where you can uh, join along and there we're going to be sharing meal prep ideas recipes but that's also where the support the community aspect comes in certainly you don't have to join the Facebook group to participate in the challenge because we're going to be releasing videos each week uh, guiding you on what that week's challenge is so for more information watch the upcoming video with that being said um, I just want to take this moment right now to kind of talk a little bit about sport psychology stuff. Um, one of the biggest things you can do for establishing um, your to, to keep your fitness up is one, jump in on this nutrition challenge, and two, is to work out consistently. And that's why I'm going to post workouts um, on a regular basis, and that's why I'm going to encourage you guys to share. But a couple things that I think will help is establishing a routine and creating the environment for exercise. When I talk about establishing a routine, we know that our our old routine has been disrupted quite a bit um, with this quarantine. So even those of you that work from home, um, I'm sure you've seen quite a change in the things that you had. Right? Maybe you, um, you went to work at a certain time, you ate a meal at a certain time, you went to the gym at a certain time. We know that's been kind of thrown out of whack. There's going to be things that you have to do. I want you to put those things that must be done, right? If it's kids, work, stuff like that, go ahead and put that on a list. But anything additional that you um, find a, that you want to do, whether it's uh, establishing a healthy nutrition plan or exercise or reading a book, yard work, whatever it is, uh, put that on that list as well. Because then what I want you to do is I want you to create a new schedule. Okay, your goal is to establish new routines that mirrors as, as much as you possibly can your old routines. So if you worked out a certain time or if you ate at a certain time, try to re um, reestablish that with this new schedule if it's within your ability. If you have to switch that schedule around a little bit because you're homeschooling kids now, uh, then switch it around a little bit, but have dedicated times when you're going to eat a meal and have dedicated times when you're going to work out. And Develop that schedule. If you if you can do it the night before and make it as detailed as possible, it's probably going to be best case scenario. Or you can do kind of um, like create a template and say, I'm going to just follow this template generally every single day. And I'm pretty lazy. So like personally, I'm pretty lazy. So I wouldn't put myself to a really tight schedule. I'd probably have like a around this time, I'm going to, I'm going to eat breakfast. Around this time, I'm going to work out. Um, and then the next thing is creating the environment. Now, this will probably... Um, this is likely going to be something that is um, 
is applicable to other domains of your life, but I want to specifically talk about exercise. In, um, in exercise science research, exercise adherence research, uh, what we find is barrier to entry is one of the biggest things that keeps people from exercising. And so what we want to do is we want you to create the environment. Have an established area that you are going to work out, whether it's your living room, garage, or whatever. If it's a dedicated space, that's the best. If it's not, if you have to move move stuff around, so be it. But have an area where you're like, this is my workout space. This is my workout space. This is my workout space. And then have the equipment, whether it's a jump rope, um, some makeshift dumbbells, uh, you know, some jugs filled with water, whatever it is, have that near, standing by ready, okay? The more you can create less, I guess the, the less barriers of entry you can create, the better, the more likely you're going to actually go and get a workout in, okay? Whereas it was easy before. All you had to do was come to the gym and we we're going to tell you what to do. We're, st we're still going to help um, and guide you in that realm, but it's going to take a little bit more effort from your part. You're going to have to move a couch, move a coffee table, set up your stuff, um, have that stuff ready. Uh, also, get in your workout gear, okay? Get in your like, like cutest, like Lululemon, uh, outfit that you can and want to like get into your stuff, get in your gear. Okay. If it's like, you know, your old, like 5k shirt from like 2003, so be it. Get in your, get in your workout gear. Okay. Um, it's going to put you in the environment to work out intensely. It's going to put you in a better, the best possible environment. Um, get in that. Okay. Um, and then also, if you if you have someone else in the household that you can exercise with, uh, try to get somebody, a significant other, a family member, a child, get them to join you or at the very least get them to watch you and count your reps and to cheer you on, even if you don't want it. If you're like me and like Lindsay comes out there and it's like, go faster. And I'm like, I can't go any faster. And I'm like, get out of here. Leave you me alone. Can't, you yeah. don't want to. Uh, I promise you it will, it will help. Um, it will help a lot. Uh, it's a little concept called social facilitation where we actually work harder um, with an audience, work harder when somebody's working out with us. So use that to your best advantage. Uh, you're less likely to quit something if you have that with you. And then last but not least, we want you to share, 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 share what you did. Um, even if you're not social media savvy like myself, um, text one of the coaches. We It will put a smile on our face. Um, text your gym buddy. Share your times. Put it on Beyond the Whiteboard. Videotape yourself. 